We are here with Cam Webster, cycler on Emirates Team New Zealand, former rower, under 23 years old, world champion, and a member of Rowing New Zealand for the last eight years. Uh, Cam, can you please summarize the day for us from a cycler's point of view? Yeah, uh, nice hot day out there today. Um, reasonable amount of pressure on us today to get our job done, but overall, very standard down the boat. Uh, yeah, nice and hot. Um, nice to get used to the conditions here in Barcelona compared to New Zealand. Yeah, pretty standard day. When comparing rowing to cycling in an America's Cup boat, which are the main differences and which are the, the similarities mm. you find? I guess the, the main differences would be um, here it's quite peaky efforts. There's a lot of max efforts and a lot of rest. Um, in a rowing boat it's very consistent. You sort of ramp into the effort um, over a long period of time. Whereas here it's you sort of warm up and then you have a lot of, during the different uh, manoeuvres, you have a lot of peaking efforts where you've got to provide a lot of hydraulic pressure. Um, but most of the time, um, yeah, it's just, it's just a slight difference in terms of the, the peak of the effort. There's a lot more of them here compared to a consistent effort in rowing. And when comparing to rowing, in rowing, synchronization between all the rowers, it's very important, like in a quadruple skull, you have to uh, stretch your legs at the same time all together and you also need to pull the row at the same time. Mm. Are you doing something similar here on the boat? Are you pushing the pedals all together at the same time or you are independently cycling on your bike? Um, we're independently cycling. We, um, we, we do need to stay connected to each other, otherwise you can get into a, a free spin. Um, but yeah, it's uh, a lot of there's a lot of nuances to being a part of, to being in this boat. Just like in rowing, rowing there's a lot of timing cues and a lot of things about being together. Um, it's very similar here. It's just a different version of a similar sort of technical uh, cue. Yeah. And going into the system, you are connected to. So all mm. of you are cycling, and you are connected to a mechanical system. Yeah, that mm. creates. Uh, oil pressure to be able to move, to move all the different controlling systems and hydraulics. Yeah. Uh, what can you tell us about that mechanical system? Is it the same system you're all connected to? Do you have more than one system? Yeah, uh, it's one system. We, we power all of the above water functions, the, the main traveler um, and adjusting the jib. Um, yeah, it's, uh, we provide the hydraulic pressure that's required for that. Uh, and as I said before, and at times it's a lot harder than others, depending on how many functions uh, the, the boys in the helm and in the flight control are, are requiring. But yeah, mainly it's uh, yeah, just building the hydraulic pressure for the boys in the main parts. So summarizing this technical part, you are, all of you are cycling independently and it's not like if you were sitting in a tandem bike. No, it. yes, yeah, cycling independently, okay. yeah. Last question, and when talking about the different parameters you control, which mm. ones are you looking at the most? You see the heart rate, uh, cadence, mm. uh, how many calories you burn? Uh, yeah. which uh, it's, we, we, can, we can have access to power and heart rate and cadence. Um, we try and link up together at a, at a specific cadence. Um, that's to ensure that we don't overspin each other. Most of the time we're pretty good at that. Uh, we have our individual heart rates to ensure that we're not you know, going too far and, and, and gassing ourselves out early in the day. Um, yeah, so power, heart rate, not many others individually, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. No worries, thank you.